Nice guys, perfect. And one more. Great. Okay. Oh, Originally, the script was set in New York, and the, they were coming out. Jane, the director, and Gloria, her co-writer, were coming out and planning to make the movie, and they were looking for somebody in New York and a producer, and through Friends of Friends, I kind of they, they made their way to me, and I read the script, and I loved it, and I had really liked Jane's film that had been at Sundance a few years before, and so, you know, it was easy, and then it got less easy when the film moved out to Los Angeles, but it was, it was an easy decision for me. I don't know. I think it's like just something that I can get my head around spending, you know, one or two or three years of my life doing. You know, there are a lot of scripts that I read and there are, those are movies I'd love to see, but I can't imagine myself making them, you know? And so when it clicks, it clicks. Yeah. I don't really seek out difficult, but sometimes it finds me. So many people work on their own now, and I think everyone's realized that the industry we work in doesn't work on its own. So the agents we deal with, they aren't single-person offices, and the studios certainly aren't single-purpose office, single-person offices, and, and the distributors aren't. And so they all have this great advantage over producers who largely work alone. And I think producers have realized the more we can kind of formalize a way to get together and share information, that it makes us stronger in dealing with everybody else who shares a lot of information internally. I, uh, you know, there was a study that uh, Stacy Smith at USC did, partnered with Sundance, and I have to say, when I, I, when I heard the results of the survey, I wasn't shocked, or I should say I wasn't surprised, but I was shocked, and I really thought that I was going to sit there and feel like, well, it's getting better, and it's better for me as a producer than it is for directors, and we're sort of on, our, on the road. And I was stunned to feel like we're not really on the road. There were a lot of women films at Sundance this year, women-directed films. We can expect that next year there won't be. You know, there hasn't really been a, a substantial increase or a trend, and 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 I think there's a lot of reasons for that. And we just have to we just have to work harder. You know, women are as good of directors as men. Women have blockbusters. Women have success. Women have critical success. There just aren't enough numbers. We just need to bolster the numbers. I think it's really to to not to not shy away from something that you love because you perceive that it will be hard to get it made. You know, I think it's trying to figure out what that audience is and how to how to how to work those two things together so that you can get that movie made. And maybe it's recognizing that as a producer you can't produce it because the budget will be too low for you, but it won't be too low maybe for you to executive produce it or for you to help shepherd it. And I think like you know, everyone's time is limited, and I think that we get into a situation where we have demands of family and older parents, and it's easy to look at something and go, oh, I can't, I just can't, I don't have the bandwidth anymore, but to really kind of challenge ourselves and say, like, let's, you know, if you really find something you love, try to just figure out a way to help it get out there and not, and, uh, you know, and keep championing the cause. It's hard, but I think, you know, we just got to kind of keep it up as much as we can.